in the garden today because I need to harvest some mint because your girl still wants to make some more extracts so the next extract we're going to be making is going to be mint so I'm so excited to be making this extract because like you've seen in my previous videos your girl been working hard making her extracts so let's get this mint harvested so we can go inside and get this extract going all right let me turn the camera around so you guys can see how my mint is going and then we are going to harvest it together are you ready i know i am Woohoo! all right mint here we come all right so here is my mint plant and i have my plate down here so we are just going to harvest and then i'm going to put the mint on the plate and then we're going to take it inside wash it all up and then we're going to make this mint extract together so let's go ahead and harvest this mint it's some good looking mint look at that i don't know how many leaves i'll be needing so we're just going to pick some and mint will grow back so i'm just going to get the bigger leaves we're just going to put them down on that plate down there I'm so excited about making this mint extract. Ooh, and when you're harvesting mint, it smells so good. The oils and stuff get on your fingers and just smells heavenly. So we're gonna get these big ones over here. This mint plant has done good, and I brought this mint at the um at Lowe's they had it on the sale so I was like look if it's on sale Miss Renee gonna jump on it jump on it baby so I'm just gonna try to get as much as I can to lease get the get it infused with the vodka and then as this mint grows before winter then I will continue to come out here and pick some more of the mint off so that's what your girl's doing I'll just pick the bigger leaves off and get it done so these lower ones they can grow and my hands are gonna smell so minty fresh all right that looks pretty good so this is the amount of mint we were able to harvest which I think is going to be enough to at least get us started. And like I said, as soon as it continues to grow, then I will come out here and I will pick more. All right, guys, let's go in the house, wash this up, and let's get all our supplies together so we can make our mint extract. Guys, I have all my supplies. I got my bottle that I'm going to be using as my vessel for my extract. I have my funnel, I have my vodka, and right here, I'll bring you down so you guys can see everything that I am working with. All right, so you see these mint leaves? Look at that, look how beautiful those leaves are. Isn't that gorgeous? So I washed them, patted them dry as much as I could, and if I saw any leaves that had like any kind of brown or anything on it and look discolored, I am not going to use that. So I'm going to set that aside. So the first thing we need to do is to take these mint leaves and get them in the jar. So hopefully they'll just fall to the bottom. I might need something to get them in there. So let's use this. Let's use this to get them in there. There we go. So we're just going to fill those up with the leaves. And I'm telling you, they still smell so good, you guys. So we're going to just fill this up. So we can get this mint extract going. And I took some of the stems off of them, too. So... I don't know if that makes a difference, but I want it to all be mainly mint. 
and not anything that will distract or take away from the flavor of the mint. A few more of these to go. And then we're going to pour this vodka in there. And then our mint extract will be started. And let me know if you guys have started um, some extracts. And if you're, you know, using alcohol or um, any other method of making extracts. Let me know what is your favorite extracts that you guys have made so far. And you see me, I'm liking a little bit of everything. The more extracts I can get, the better I will be. And the happier I will be. So, like I said, as soon as my plant grows more, then I will add them to this jar, this bottle right here, and we will keep it going. So, if you're interested in making all kinds of different extracts, then you have come to the right channel. Now we're going to add the funnel. And I, you can get any kind of vodka. I haven't tried any that have been infused, like Jamaican or different types of vodka, flavored ones. I've only used, like, just the straight. So I'm just going to fill this bottle up with this vodka to the middle line. And then I'm going to top it. And then I'm going to shake it, and then I have to buy some more labels so I can label these extracts. So we're going to take it to the top, which is right there, which is perfect. Ooh, it looks good already, and all the mint has come to the surface. So let's top this off stopper in there and like I said before I got these bottles and stuff off of um, Amazon and once these bad boys lock trust and believe they are locked so come on let's shake this bottle together and let's begin with our mint extract let me shake it really good so it can get infused I'm hoping when it starts to take on the mint flavor that the um, vodka would turn like a chartreuse green and you know that's like my favorite favorite color so let me show you up close what it looks like look at that doesn't that look good you guys and that is mint and like i said the more mint i get since it's going to float all the way to the top the more mint i get it will push that down and go to the bottle to the bottom of the bottle but right now shoot i'm just happy to be making some extract all right guys so this is another addition to my collection of my extracts <sighs> i'm telling you the more i make these the less money i have to pay in the store Mm-hmm. because like i said if you watch my one video that had me um showing you the taste test of all my extracts you will realize in that video, a little will go a long way. Trust and believe because I didn't know how powerful and potent this extracts were going to be. So I put a teaspoon. I filled up a whole teaspoon. You'll see me in that video with that teaspoon of that vanilla extract. And it was so potent and the flavor was so intense. That that told me I only need a little bit. And whatever I cook with those extracts that I've made already, you are definitely going to taste the flavor. I know when you cook with alcohol, how it burns off the alcohol, but that flavor stays behind. All right, guys. So this is my extract that I just made, my mint. And I just wanted to show you guys how to make it. And show you that Miss Renee 
is still doing it over here in Renee's garden, making these extracts, boy. Woohoo! I'm so, so excited. I'm making my extracts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's making me so happy, you guys. All right, so don't forget, if you still want to know what's happening over here in Renee's garden, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give your girl a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell so you always know what my next adventure is over here in Renee's garden. All right, guys. Love you much. And I will see you in the next video. Go make you some mint extract. Look how beautiful they are. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, guys. Take care.